Pain leads to satori and except from horizons beyond the mind. Pain ultimately leads to satori. Every pain, conflict, turmoil, agony or disturbance can become a satori, a samadhi, a turning point in life when you move from outer to the inner. It can become a breakthrough because it is really the state of pain that becomes a breakthrough. When you look at the life of many people who have turned inwardly, they have gone through pain. It is said about Socrates, he was very ugly. And he was ugly because his wife threw boiling water from the kettle on his face and he became ugly. In his memoirs, he thanked his wife. Because of her, he had a breakthrough, 180 degree turn in his life. And he came to be known as one of the greatest philosophers Greece has. It is through pain that one transcends. Pain gives you the opportunity to introspect. Never through pleasure has one reached the beyond. Because in pleasure one indulges and one becomes more and more oblivious of one's being. When everything is going well, who bothers? Then one is on a merry-go-round lost. But when pain is there, suffering is there, one naturally becomes more alert and more aware. One has to be because pain is a great challenge. Pain is transcendence. If you accept pain without denying or being scared of it as part of life with no judgment, good or bad, as a fact, neither good nor bad, once you accept the reality of it, you start transcending. With transcendence you become more alert, more a witness. Pain is there but you are no more identified with it. This is beyond pain. The leg or the hand may be cut, but you will remain intact. Nothing will be cut from you. Your consciousness will not lose anything in it, and that is the real thing. Remember, you are not the leg or the hand. You are not part. Instead, you are whole. The cutting of the body part is almost just as if you cut the sleeve of the shirt. Inside you remain intact. Remember you are not your shirt. The sleeve is not your hand. In exactly the same way, the body part is not you. The body is not you. Even if the whole body disappears, even if the whole body disappears, nothing disappears indeed still one remains. So let this be a great experience. My whole approach is to accept whatsoever life brings, accept it with gratefulness, with deep thankfulness. Do not have a grudge or complain. It is very natural to have a grudge, but through having a grudge you miss the point. You can be very angry inside. You may complain why this, why was this to happen to me? Why not to others? What have I done wrong? What karmas? What wrong have I done in my past lives? Why should it happen to me? I am so young and the whole life is there. The hand or leg has to be cut off or something else has to be removed. Why am I suffering? Never ask why. Things are for no reason at all. There must be a cause. You do not remember the cause, only the effect you see. Behind every effect, there has to be a cause. Both cause and effect continue the wheel of time. Tremendous understanding is needed to come out of the grinding wheel of time. That is the highest understanding. Things are for no cause at all. There is no karma, nothing. These are just explanations to console people. They bring consolation, nothing else. 
and none of these things bring any understanding. Now if you go to some orthodox Indian mind, he will say it is because you have done something wrong in your past life. It explains something. An explanation helps you to be consoled a little because somehow the why is answered. You may have murdered someone, so now you can see that there is no need to be angry. You did something wrong, now you suffer for it. When you sow, certainly you reap accordingly, so it is okay. It is just that one has to pee, then it becomes rational, but in fact nothing is explained. Why did you murder in the first place, if that be the case? The question remains the same. Why did you murder? Nobody else did. Then again go to another past life in which you were a criminal or you were aggressive or this and that. However, this is just postponing the question. Why remains the same? It simply goes one step back and stands there as a big unexplained why. Why was I aggressive and not others? Why goes on shifting the problem from one why to another? So if you look deeply, it is simply foolish. All explanation is foolish because it leads to no explanation instead in a spiral. It only satisfies stupid people who cannot see far enough or who do not have a vision to see the whole so they just push it a little back saying that in the past life you did something wrong and now is the time to pay. Such explanations satisfy only the dull mind. Still the question remained unexplained why in the first place did you do wrong? There must have been a life which was the first and how did it happen in the first place? Ultimately the total, the whole remains responsible. Then the grudge is there and with the grudge you cannot grow because you cannot relax. It creates anguish, tension, anxiety and with all that anger, anxiety, anguish, how can you pray, how can you thank God. He has given so many things but you will remain confined to the leg or the hand and continue to complain. He has given you beautiful eyes, have you ever thanked him for that but you will be angry about the leg. He has given you a thousand and one things which are functioning perfectly well. You never thank but curse him what you cannot understand. The curse can go so deep that in a moment of deep anger one can say that there is no God. If there is God, it cannot happen to me because God must be compassion, love at least. He has not even just therefore. It is better to drop the belief then everything is accidental. One suffers, but there is no need to be angry with anybody because there is no one. That too happens to people. When people suffer, they deny God or they find explanations somewhere so that the why can be pushed backwards. But neither denying God nor pushing away the why is going to help in any way. The only thing that is going to help is to accept that thing exists for no reason at all. Everything is just as it is. It is a mystery. That is why I mean when I say it exists for no reasons at all. If there is a reason, there is no mystery. It is mysterious. It is unknown. And all those who claim that they know are just on ego trips. Not a single thing is known and not a single thing can be known or explained. All our knowledge remains superficial, just an acquaintance. No amount of knowledge ever solves the mystery. 
so this has to be understood and this is what I call understanding to live with the mystery is the only understanding not a single thing is known and not a single thing can be known indeed that ignorance is utter and ultimate but it is innocent and very intimate things are as they are and we have to accept what else is there to do in that acceptance indeed transcendence happens and there is no grit you are happy the way you are and who knows life is so mysterious that one never knows i have heard once a young blind man came to a master he traveled far and wide to reach the master he was a very poor boy with no money or other resources he came with dirty clothes the master was surprised the master inquired you are blind has anybody come with you he replied no i need not have anybody because i am blind so everybody helps me i need not have anybody because i am blind so everybody helps me along the way he was indeed happy there was no remorse or regret on his face he said because of blindness everyone helps me somebody gives me food next one buys a ticket and the transport man has brought me here and he too did not take the money for it the blind boy continued further if i had eyes it would have been difficult for me to come to you i am blind so everybody just has compassion for me i am never in any trouble whenever i am somebody somehow starts helping me this i call acceptance such a person who accepts everything with a grateful heart certainly has the capacity to become spiritual he has found something beautiful even in his blindness if you can find something good even in your misfortune is a spiritual he is thankful to god that he has made him blind just try to understand once you accept doors start opening accept life as it is not for a single moment let worry trouble you there is no need to worry also there is nothing to worry about one day your whole body is going to vanish sometimes things happen as a whole while other times it happens in parts that is mystery indeed there is nothing to be worried about let every moment and every situation be total surrender to the doctors or the circumstance or situation and tell them that whatsoever they want to do you will let them meditate in every situation relax accept and enjoy whatsoever is available you will come out of it more whole and indeed healthy certainly my awareness and energy field is with you always